Hello. It's me. Let's see who signs on first. I'm gonna wait for that. Let's see how this goes today. So, uh, I realized yesterday, after watching my video, that, hi, that, um, every time I get a question on the, that comes up on the feed, that I get distracted and I don't finish my thought. So I'm gonna try not to get distracted. Anyone home? I know some people said they were gonna call in with a bellyache. Hi, Jill Watson, good morning, good afternoon. All right, so I'm here at the Free Spirit offices and uh, I got to thinking, why did I go to SNS yesterday? And then I realized I really did nothing except doing the video for you. So, Familia, I hope you appreciate this because I really did only go to the uh, warehouse to show you guys the tour. So let's go, I'm gonna turn it around. Here we go, so this is the new sign and this is the new login with the secret code. If you guys are nice, I will give you the secret code, but I'm not gonna show you mine. All right, here we go. So things definitely got cleaner. Hey, there's Philip Jacob. Hi, Philip. Uh, here's the chair. Nice chair. Printers again. I showed you this last time. We need to get some art up on the walls. I'll, I'll give you guys a chance. And then here we have the showroom or the uh, workplace. I'll give you guys some peeks, but nothing serious because there's some secret stuff here. But there's fabric everywhere. I'm sure you guys know all this fabric. We got strike offs, but I can't focus on that too much. And then we're going. So let's see. All right. So here's our showroom. Oh no, this is our little office space. And this is my home. As you guys know, I'm doing the egg diet. So look, I got my apples, got my bananas, my almonds, my protein bars. Loving these chocolate salted caramels. So let's see. A lot of people saying good morning. Hi everyone. So these boxes got a little cleaned up. We're doing better. We're waiting for some more cabinets that my brother Greg's working on because you know he has all the crappy chores. I get the easy stuff and I get to sell. So say hi to Alberto. Everyone hey, knows everyone. Alberto. Is Jenna back there? Oh, I think she's the no. <laughs> and this is our lead stylist, Debbie Stark. What are you doing, Debbie? Contracts? I'm working on a contract. Very nice. Mm -hmm. What law school did you go to? Yeah. <laughs> the, Here's. The, uh, Scott Fortunoff School of Law. Yeah. Here's my iced tea. No Duncan here. And this is my favorite part about the office. No! No, 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 no. No! All right, so I wanted to show you. I printed out this little chart so you all could see. So this is a chart that we do for all the companies and you could see the month by month shipments. This is how we manage what's shipping and what needs to be cut and we'd like to try to keep it balanced so um, we don't have too many lines shipping at the same time and the warehouse is overwhelmed. But I wanted to focus on Free Spirit, which is right here. So this first column right here with my fat finger is June. So for June, we have mid-century Christmas, materialize and merriment. Those will be shipping soon. Then in July, we have Passion Flower and Della Luna, and you all who, everyone who was with me yesterday saw the Della Luna. And then we have the Kaiko Goki, the How Do You Do? That's for August. So these are ship months. So um, this is when the goods should be getting into uh, your sh the shops for the owners. And for you consumers, this is when you need to go into the shop to get the line. So someone was asking me about artists. Oh, sorry. So September, we have, this thing's a little off. A Bird in Hand, Flora Folk, Georgia Blue, Vestige, Montague, Arcadia. There you go, Philip. And then we got Zuma. And then here we go, let's see, October. Artisan Three, Savernaki Lake from the Conservatory. Confetti's, Dakaraya. Dakari, yeah, that too. Uh, memoranda one and then here we are for uh, November we have English summer peony pagoda st. John and then December darling meadow where's that over here and then the other stuff we have on this side you don't need to know yet I got to keep some secrets but that's my chart and then we brought out some eye candy for you do you want to talk about these first yeah. okay so say hi to our gurus 
Nancy Jewell. What's your job again, Nancy? What's your title? I'm the director of marketing. Director of marketing, self-entitled. And what's your self-entitled <laughs> position? Inspiration manager. When Greg came down here to everyone, he told them to pick their, their name or their own title. So here we go. Uh, what do you guys want to talk about first? All right, so we want to talk about Tim Holtz. For those of you that were on the video yesterday, I said that Tim Holtz is staying with us. Uh, his future in the chains is uncertain as far as we know. Uh, but we have his stuff, and we will have his stuff, and continue to have his stuff, and we have his older stuff and newer stuff. But uh, we want you to support him, because I know many of you showed that you loved him. So can you tell me about this quilt inspiration manager? Yes. This is Chevron Braid, Tim Holtz, and it crosses many collections. It crosses his eclectic elements and foundations with wallflower, but it just shows you how versatile Tim's fabrics are as part of your stash because they work across each other and they're great um, as fillers too, especially like his uh, scripts that he does a lot of. This particular the skew, the map, is like the number one selling skew. It's great as a solid um, in a quilt. But it just shows you how beautiful his stuff crosses each other. So if you're right. a Tim Holtz fan, build the stash, build the stash, build the stash. And if, <laughs> and if you're a shop owner, you could keep these all together, and then when you run out of a skew, you could bring a new skew in, and it fits in yeah, really like, nicely. So never this is almost like, um, for those of you that were at market with Tula, how she thinks... You know how you're going to be out of a certain color and then she'll come back with a new color that'll fill that spot so uh they're very thoughtful and wow this one is cool yeah, yeah. this one's fractured stars okay and this is in his collection dapper let me see if i can dapper get away. one and dapper two so this is dapper one and dapper two yes okay but let's Here. let's show the back sharon wait let me do a little close-up oh. All right, you guys ready for a close-up? Oh, Nancy, you just got your nails done. No, I didn't. <laughs> Don't show my nails. <laughs> I showed my Jack nail yesterday. All right, a lot of hearts flying. I like that. All right, show me the back, Jack. Ooh. Tim so look at these backing. beautiful 108-inch backings um, that are out of a sateen, okay. which means that they're extra buttery, yummy when yeah, you put it on great. your bed or you lay under it because it gives a little bit of weight to the quilt. Right. Um, and this is a 108 inch backing, so you know, you don't need to buy a lot of these to, to back a quilt because it's so wide. So you save money. And, okay, uh, and remember yesterday I no spoke... No seaming. No seaming. No seaming. Yesterday I spoke about the 108 and the sateen versus the 60 squares. Uh, we may keep some sateen, but we will probably transition to some 60s as well. So we'll have a little bit of both. Oh, get a buy it now. Give Carl some love. Okay, so someone was just asking, who's this, Carl Hench? Yes. Okay, so Carl Hench. Oh, the the, the uh, hearts are flying everywhere. Yeah. This is awesome. We love Carl so, uh, Hench, So that's too. funny. Someone was asking who, who made the quilt. So Sharon, as the inspiration manager... Yes, yes. What, uh, who makes our quilts? Oh, oh. so many people. So, so many, many different, different people. people. Can you just give me an Not idea? Like, are they just, oh, just freelance people? Yes. Yep. And do they do it for fabric or for money? Both. Or the love of free spirit? Both. All of okay, the above. so let's look here. What do we got going here? All right, so here we have Tim Holtz uh, provisions. And okay. we have his. Can you flip oh, through, do you mind? Flip through? I don't mind at all. Okay. It's really great. This is Tim's interpretation of a solid. Okay. And they work great. You can see even laying next to this quilt how nicely these, yep. they're not everything in this flows. quilt, but everything works together. It all flows. Right. And here are his greens, reds. Oh, the blues are separated. Let's see here, but they look great. And they work into this collection, which is Memoranda. Can you pull this one out? That one's, sure. I really like that one. You can see this writing. The hearts are flying. That's great. Let's see. So, this will be in your quilt shops in October. Yes, this is so, in October. So, you remember when I started off, I showed you the cheat sheet. So, this was an October line. This one works really nicely with it, too. Did so, I tell you guys that some of uh, my followers are willing to do tattoos, and I offered to pay see? for them, and I think I might regret that, because they're going to be... <laughs> oh, my God, the hearts are flying. Yep. Oh. Loving this, awesome. All right, what else we got? Wait, What's I in this show box? This quick too. This okay. is still part of Memoranda. This is the quilt that we developed for inspiration. I don't have a real one, so I'm showing it on paper. Okay, can you hold it up straight and flat? Yes. Yeah, there you go. It's 
called Post-it Note. This one's called Post-it Note. And this was designed by Linda and Carl Sullivan from Colorworks. Okay, awesome. Thank you. You're welcome. This is the rest of the collection here. All right. Can we see the cards? Sure. So here's the color card. So Free Spirit, the old Free Spirit, they did their color cards in multiple cards for a collection. Uh, the Jaftex companies in New York, we try to do it on one. We're gonna try to convert them to one because it's hard to look at two cards when you're sitting at a small table. Oh, that's good, thank you. Good? Yeah, awesome. Good. So that's how they used them? to do so it. So just to give you an idea of the Tim Holtz offering, yeah. if I can flip through this, I need a flip book. I mean, Let's see just... a picture of him. Now I know when I see him what he looks like in case we <laughs> run into each other. You will. I mean, look at the, the, the this is just beautiful fabric. It's, What's this book from? This is just his catalog of fabrics. You can see how much they they work together. And it's just, it's so unique. You're not gonna find this anyplace else in the industry. I mean, you might find people trying to rip it off, but you know what? You can't, it's Tim. Right. It's more backings. All right. It's beautiful backings. Awesome. Oops, we'll go there. Okay, what else? <laughs> What's next? So I'm gonna, before we go back, I'm gonna give them a chance to regroup, but I wanted to just show you the beautiful mess. This, like these boxes have quilts and fabrics, and this is like the warehouse, but a couple million less yards. We got quilts everywhere. I tell you what these are, but I don't know. And we got fabric. Look at all this stuff. Oh my God. This one they wanted to show you. This one, Philip Jacobs is on, so I gotta take care of him. He's doing an awesome job, really embracing social media and getting his fans involved. You guys should follow him for sure if his page is not closed out already, because he's been really popular. I love seeing all the stuff that he does on the other side of the world, so different from what I do. I got kids and nonsense and he's swimming in the ocean and saving sheep and pliosauruses. I still don't know what that is, but here we go. We got quilts everywhere. We're gonna get Tim Holtz to your area. Tell your quilt shops to talk to their reps and tell them to order the Tim Holtz. We got all kinds of stuff, pillows. I mean, you could camp out in this place and you could have a different quilt every night. Up oh, here we got some cave. Let's see if I could zoom in. No, it doesn't really work. But this is good stuff, and I will have a question at the end for a bag full of prizes. Ah, oh, look what we found here. So we got pre-cuts, we got a bunch of caves books, we got the modern solids, we got what is this one? I don't know, sorry. This one is Kelmscott from Morrison Co. But all kinds of goodies here. This is like the stuff that they send me in the boxes. Pretty awesome, I guess. That looks like the mystery quilt. And then we have some eclectic elements and other stuff down here. Yes, goodies, lots of goodies. Uh, there's no trunk show as of now, but maybe that's a good idea. A Pylosaurus is a prehistoric marine reptile from the Jurassic era. Now I know what it is. All right, so here we go. You guys ready? Yes. What do we got here? Inspiration Manager. This is a kit that we are promoting with uh, Merton, well, William and Morris. I'm like yours. William and Morris, Merton, Kelmscott, and Montague. And we teamed with Brimfield Awakening. <clears throat> this is English paper piece. And so all of the work done in here is done by hand. Can you guys hear the inspiration manager? And in this particular instance, this was um, sewn on, applicated on by machine for speed reasons. You could hand uh, quilt that, uh, hand sew that on as well. And it was um, applicated onto a larger square, which makes the whole process quick. So if you're into English paper piecing, this is the and project. we know a lot of you are, you know, it's a big thing. It's a very portable hobby. When your kids are at soccer, you could be sitting there stitching away. Right. Or maybe you like to like binge watch Netflix. You know, like, uh, oh. Let's see what's on the back. It's very portable English paper piecing. And 
Yes, um, and we teamed with Brimfield Awakening and Paper Pieces. Okay, are you guys do doing paper piecing? It's really yes, popular it's very lately. popular right now. All right, what do we got next? Let's see. So to go with table. that, so you can see the newest collection from the original Morris & Co. We have a relationship with the original Morris & Co., which means we have access to the archives at the True William Morris, the company that today is True William Morris. Um, I guess that's the easiest way to explain it. So this is our newest collection called Montague. There's so this was the line that we showed at market for the first time? Yes. yes. Okay, very nice. A lot nice. of iconic designs in here, like the snake's head, which is very, very much William Morris. This is another Where's iconic the snake's head? right here. It's not a snake head, it's just what it's oh, called. That's what it's called. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> And see it. I thought it was like one of those tulip designs where the thing is hidden in there. Okay, which is what else is iconic? Like this, this one? is another iconic design. You guys know this one? Like everything of William Morris is iconic, so you can't just like pinpoint one design. But, oh, Philip, did you guys know Philip Jacobs designed for Morrison Co? He's did you? He I said, tell him, he's way? telling me right here. When was I that, Philip? That. That's cool. That. Debbie, did you know that? That Philip Jacobs design from Morrison Co. Oh, you're so good. This is the one that was a quilt market. Oh, this is the quilt. We just put it flat, please. Thank you. This is the quilt that we had at Quilt Market, if you remember. Robin Ruth Designs. Robin Ruth Designs. Okay. All right. Awesome. So just imagine, like, Debbie, our design director, has been to the Style Library in England, and she's seen the archives that have his handwritten notes about color and design. That's so we cool. have access to that information. So what you're seeing here is truly authentic. We need to Facebook Live that Morris. next time she goes there. Yeah, well, she needs to go back. You need to send her back, Scott. Where? I think back, I should go Scott. with her to England. Maybe. England. All right, over the last 15 years. Oh, nice, though. All right. Okay, good. She's on Let's her way. Let's see, what's this? This looks nicely organized. Talk Verna to Mascara. me. This is Verna Mascara, and she did a surprise uh, visit at the quilt market. Yes. Yes. Yes, and I met her. She was lovely. Yes. Thank you for coming, Verna, yeah, she, and visiting us. She, All right. So, anyone want to talk about this? Well, she has a pattern company called Vintage Spool. Check her out online. She's very much a, a traditional applique, uh, shabby chic kind of um, aesthetic. Uh, you can see Scott's flipping through. The plaids are just fabulous. Those plaids, great for um, just about anything. anything. Cut yep. on the bias is a binding one that look wonderful. Um, and the stripes, too, those are pretty um, universal. And this is just really pretty. Her um, vocal print here in the navy blue, I just I love the navy blue. It's just so rich looking and colorful. And what's pretty about this is this, I love this. Oops, something fell. Oops, which is like there. a twall type feel. Um, so if you like more traditional fabrics. All right, you guys remember yesterday, PW, Patchwork, VM, Verna Mascara, 204. That means it's her 204th design. Is that how long she's been with us? That, just, yes. Wow. Well, awesome. not, not 204 years, but. No. <laughs> okay. Not yet. So let's not look, yet. At, look at the other colorway. <laughs> 204 years. They're just they're just precious. They're just great. I love the paisley with the with the uh, roses intertwined. They're like a fillard almost. I like that word, fillard. Yeah. They use that in the office. I never know what it means. <laughs> I don't either. Again, a really nice plaid. Nice. See that's like a little apron or something. Make an apron. Make yep. this the ruffle on the apron. Wouldn't that be pretty totally. for mom mm -hmm. or grandma? In the kitchen, yeah. Awesome. yeah. All right. Let's. You want to just show the color card? Yeah. See, this is the cumbersome double couple color card situation. <laughs> All right, we get it. Yeah. <laughs> We're gonna go to one card. It's so nice. I don't have to walk around the warehouse and oh, be able to actually get to breathe today. Except my back is hurting from holding the phone in this position. How are you guys doing today? Everyone figured out a way to get out of work? <laughs> or is everyone at the beach already for the summer? Bit old fashioned for me. Show me some Tula. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh well, you might have to come Dirty. back for Tula. Oh, look at this. Oh. I think they know who this is. Anyone know who this is? 
Sue Fenwick, this is your buddy. Sandy Weatherford is your buddy too. All right, let's do it. Open it up. Voila. Well, we have the real fabric if they want to Ooh, see Ooh, let's that. do it. Do we want to see the real fabric or the fabric card? What do you guys think? <laughs> is real, that a, retor a rhetorical question? Arcadia, there's your koi, that's right. Is that where you're gonna get the tattoo of, Jeanette? Yeah. All right, everyone's happy now. Right. They're There's like in a the fabric, fabric coma. Philip Jacobs coma. Oh, Philip, you you mesmerize all these people. All right, look at this, love this. All right, let's see the real fabric. Screw the paper. Oh, we're to match it up. I know, we don't need to match it up. They're, they're all smart enough. They've all seen the fabric before. Let's do this, right? Let's get right to the fabric. Yep, typical guy messing up the place. Look at these. And and Philip on his Facebook page. Oh, the hearts are flying like crazy. I love it. Philip on his Facebook page has these shells in the, in like a real version, which is so cool. Let's see. Come on, look at these koi. All right, you guys are ordering Arcadia. Keep ordering it. Look at this. Like, if you chop this into, like, little pieces, look at all that beautiful explosion of color. You're yeah, look at that. Something you can't go wrong. Time. This one, this one also, this one. I mean, this is a great one-block wonder. Um, and these are great as, like, solids, these particular shells. Can you open this one up a little bit more? You don't mind? God, Philip, How are you going to outdo this, buddy? He does every time. <laughs> no, those shells are running. Send me, please. All right. Okay. Let's see. Look at this. Look at so all that got... wonderful color. Here you guys go. P W S L <laughs> Snow Leopard. <laughs> and here we go. This is. Um, I don't think I've talked about this, but uh, this is the salvage mark on the end. These numbers signify colors. the colors and the location on the fabric. So um, when Debbie or Alberto or, or Jenna, they look at the strike-offs, they'll say something about the colors by number. So they'll maybe say number four, we don't like that blue, it needs to be darker, or it needs to be lighter, or, or an item that color is in the wrong spot and we need to put a different uh, color tab in that certain spot. So maybe uh, where there's a blue number five, there should be a red number seven. So that's how they comment and they speak uh, to the people at the mill so they can make the corrections and we get the fabric exactly how we want it. So you guys get it perfect. We cannot put the release date on the salvage. Too complicated, sorry. Because the then ships, it changes and... This ships in, I think September. Yes, this ships in September, so okay. get ready. This Save ships in September. September, yes, Snow Leopard is amazing. All right, any more Snow Leopard? No, nope, that's, that's it. Okay. Next. We only tonight. showed one color, but well, we missed we that have. masculine brown color, which was really awesome. I don't know. Uh, did they finish the survey and figure out what the favorite color was? Yeah. I don't know. It was the, I won't say, because it's a personal preference. Philip is saying Jenna and Debbie deserve full credits for Snow Leopard. What is Alberto chopped liver? <laughs> Come on, Philip. Come on. We're... All right, so let's talk about this. All right, Philip, sorry, buddy, you got your, your, your uh, five minutes of fame. I'm sure it will continue on, don't worry. All right, let's go. Here we go. So, which line is this? I'm this sorry. Sue Pen. Okay, wait, so let, let's do something. So, the lines on the front, we put the line name. Yeah, and then cool. we put free spirit and then on the top in the corner we say the name of the line which folder you know folder two of three one of three whatever it's all going to be one of one from now on <laughs> and then they do that up here in the front again and they tell you seven how many SKUs. rot date that means we need it if a customer wants the goods rot remember yesterday i told you rolled on tubes they need to get their order in by july of 2018 and then the regular ship date which is the date it will hit quilt shops or ship in that month, uh, that will be September. Any Jennifer Paganelli. And Alberto, Alberto, he's giving you the love you deserve. All right, so now let's talk about this line now that we did that. So this is Garden Bright by Sue Penn. This is gonna be a digitally uh, printed line. Yes, and but don't let that fool you because yeah, the hand on this fabric is absolutely beautiful. Okay. You would never know 
Um, well, I don't know if anyone assumes digital quilt has a worse quality hand. Well, Look how sweet nice. this is. This is amazing. So Sue this, Penn really crushed it on this one. This is perfect for like a whole cloth quilt. If you got, you know, something you need to make a quick quilt for, this is the perfect fabric. Get two yards of it and sandwich it. Yep. Easy breezy. Some beautiful quilting and you have a really nice colorful quilt. Uh, all, in one, all in one swoop. As I mentioned yesterday, the online ordering is not going to be working until the new system is going with the website. You need to order through customer service. Customer or service, all eight or ten of our people are ready and waiting for your phone calls to place your orders. So please get used to that. And I will keep reiterating the website. We will. I promise we've been very transparent and trying to send out messages, whether it's from my blog or from... Uh, MailChimp that we send from the office, but we are trying to keep you guys in the loop. As I mentioned yesterday, we're slowly getting ramped up. The goods are still coming in. We're still sorting through the plant, so you just need to be patient. Um, as I mentioned yesterday, you know, I'm 45. I'm in this for the long haul. We will integrate this, and before I'm 46, uh, hopefully, we should be good to go. Just thank you for your patience. We're working our hardest, and I promise We'll get you all your favorite fabrics. If it's maybe one month late, we're gonna try not to, but we're doing the best we can. So, all right, so look how cool this is. Really nice. Is that an ombre, kind of? Kind of. Someone yeah. was asking to see ombre. Yes, yeah, so sir, like, you wanna open that one up a little? More yeah. ombre than... These are really great blenders, or, you know, yeah. obviously they go perfectly with this line, but, you know, this, this really fills in with a nice fall um, quilt if right. you're making that. There are no wide backings in this line. Sorry, this Yet. is uh, <laughs> no in the in this line. No, yeah. This this is its own line. Uh, it's not huge. It's just a small, nice digital line. So, all right, let's go next. Do you have any new Amy Reber? Uh, not that not I could yet. show. We do have it coming, but not that I could show you here. I'm sorry. Um, are there backings in this line? Answer that. No. O B W out of that one. I don't oh, know what that is, but I know, I'll but I just want work. them to see yeah. how they work. Together. Yes, Rorschachy. All right, so, uh, so what do we got here? All this right, is... so here we go. Jennifer Paganelli. I think someone was asking for her. Yes. So this is St. John's. Yes. Yes, and so you know Jennifer, she um, she grew up where in the Bahamas or something. So everything she does is very bright and colorful, um, and. I don't know if you follow her on Instagram, but if you did last year, you started to notice some of her paintings. Um, and we took those paintings and we did a fabric collection called Judith's Fancy, which is right here. Wait, okay. hang on, I'm gonna get there. Okay. This is Judith's Fancy, which you all really embraced and loved. As you Look can see her, cool her heads. It's <laughs> a beautiful quality. It's beautiful fabric, really colorful. Okay. Who made this? Uh, Linda and Carl Sullivan. Linda and Carl Sullivan. Linda and Carl Sullivan, Sullivan another one the beauty by them. of her paintings and the brush strokes and how they came out on fabric. Oh my God, the hearts are flying. Love so, it. because you all love Judas Fancy so much, we've asked oh. Jennifer to do a second iteration, uh, which is called St. John's, which is what you're gonna see right here. This is by Marsha Moore, I made a mistake. Oh, sorry, not <laughs> the Marcia, Sullivans, Marcia. they did the other yes. curls. Yeah, Marsha, Marsha, Marsha. Marsha Moore. Okay, Marsha Moore. Thank you, Marsha. These are awesome. Okay. All right, what else do you got? So got? here's her new iteration called St. John's. You can see how she's carried through with her florals and her painting. She has hidden heads in this one particular flower, which is really cute. And if you really like her um, head-dressed woman, I guess that's what you would call her, she's got this uh, Bridget, Bridget is her name, and here she is in three different colors, which match beautifully against every single floral in the line. It also works well with Judas Fancy. So. Awesome. Very nice. This delivers in November. Okay, this delivers in November. You guys hear that? In Quilt Chops. It will ship by us in November, sometime in November. So. Even the little, it. this little dot, it's just so much fun. Yep, I that mean, is a Everybody fun loves dot. dots and spots, right? Yep, spots and dots. All right, and, what's next? That's all we have prepared for today. Oh, man. I know. What There's else so we much got? more we could tell you. What do you want to tell them? What could we tell them? Anything special? We need to think of a very hard question to give a prize away. Yeah, we have talk about the conservatory. Some prizes. You want to talk about the conservatory? 
Well, we can show some fabric. Okay. You guys want to see some conservatory fabric? For those of you that didn't make it to Quilt Market, uh, Anna Marie Horner did her conservatory presentation in front of seven or 800 people. I kind of had it on Facebook for a little bit. Maybe you saw it, maybe you didn't. That was what I got scolded about, so I took it down. I don't like getting <laughs> scolded. This is Buku's. So this is Buku. And from the conservatory. From the conservatory. And do we know when this one ships? Buku ships in September. Unless you buy all of the conservatory. Right. Yep. Okay, so Buku ships in September. Yes. If you buy all of the conservatory, which is 48 different SKUs, right? Yes. 48 yep. total SKUs. That ships, would all ship in September? Yes. yes. Okay, if you buy the whole shebang, you could get it in September before okay. everyone else. If not, you could just get it each month if you just pick a certain group. Um, we had a lot of success selling the full shebang there were a lot of extra perks with it are we still offering those perks with Absolutely, it or that okay we have a lot of different perks with it so ask your sales rep if you're if you're a uh, shop owner if you're a consumer ask your favorite shop owner if they bought this this, this is, is honest so this is Anna's contribution to the conservatory yes That's pretty. it's beautiful Anna's like heading clover. over to australia this this week right yeah right she's going to be there for about a month yes which is crazy beautiful fabric. Wow, this one is really nice. Very vibrant. Yes, you get four free patterns if you get the whole shebang, right? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Free Very shop. good. Lynette, you're good. You're trying to steal my thunder, Lynette? <laughs> She's paying attention. Yeah. This is also is. Part, of, part of Anna's. Okay, part this is of the Anna's part. Look at this. So beautiful. Check out this. You see that man and the woman? You just see the detail of her fine artwork. And yeah. even in here, get some quilting images. Yep, she snuck in some... Looks like English paper pieces. Seven kids in a shop. I have no idea. I was going to ask the same question, but I figured I'd leave it to you to say that. Look at this flower. So cool. I want something done. Ask a busy person. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So, you want to open this one up? I think this yes. one is worth... I agree. Looking at. What was the one that, that Liz always says this it's remind like her of? Social Climber. Yes, Social uh, Climber. Which was from... Thing her floral retrospective, but has the same feel as Social Climber. See Just how it great repeats for from the sash, salvage to the salvage. Or, um, if you are into garment making, this would be a wonderful skirt or dress. It'd be beautiful. Yes. It comes in three colorways. I like this one. I must say, we haven't done any cape and any tula. They're going to be pissed. Well, come back. We'll do it come again. Back. Next time you Next come, time. we'll do it. All right, next time I come down, we'll have to do some Cape and Tula. We, we need to show everyone love and right. let you guys know about all the talented people that work with us. You know Cape and Tula and Philip, yeah. even though really Philip, Philip's too. got the inside that. scoop. Be great very, as a shift dress. Very yeah. cool. I think Anna has a really great pattern. Yeah, Lynette, we're actually, dress. send me your address. We'll just pack this box up and ship it to your house. <laughs> <laughs> There's some more. This is Anna's contribution okay, to the conservatory. Okay, this is Anna's again. Well, this next one is really fun. Like oh, this one. Jeanette wants to do the the tattoo with Kaif. Oh. What about Amy Butler? We have anything for Amy Butler to show? Not yet. Not yet, but we, but we will. In October, we will be showing lines for Amy. And uh, she will be at the quilt market, which is exciting, as a lot of our people will be at quilt market. So this is going to be like the real coming out of the new free spirit. The last market was good. Um, definitely was strong and positive, but it was uh, usually That's more people beautiful. come to Houston. So expect to have a much bigger crowd. Amy, Cave, Tula, Brandon. I'm gonna put Phil up to the challenge, see if we can get his butt up here. But I don't know if that's gonna happen. But you know what we're not talking about with conservatory? What are we not talking it's about? It's three artists. Yes. You have Vestige by Buku. Yep. You have Savernac Road by Monica. Monica which and is then you come have out next. Yeah, English Summer by Anna Maria Horner. But the beauty of conservatory is that all three artists combined together into specific color stories. So you have the cinema color story, the cottage color story, and the hydrangea color story. So each of these three artists cross beautifully into a wonderful, wonderful color story. So they all work together, but yet they have a distinct style of their own. 
And if you bought all 48 SKUs, there's a quilt called Pathways, which yep. crosses all three collections together and allows you to work with the beauty of how these work together. Exactly. So um, I, I want to tell you from the business side, um, so we just, you know, we, we were, everything was a little delayed, as you know, there's a little bit of a takeover. <laughs> and um, the, the lines that we were supposed to show in early May were showed really at Quilt Market for the first time. And the reps are out with that and they're getting a lot of new customers because everyone's all excited to see the new Free Spirit and work with the new company. And a lot of people are emailing me and they want reps. If you want a rep, you could email me or private message me. I will get them in touch with you. There's no reason why we shouldn't be selling to um, your shop. So if you have a local shop that doesn't carry it and you want them to or they want to see a rep, just let me know and I will definitely get them that information. But in any case, so on July 6th, uh, all the Jaftex companies are going to be sending out their new lines for the summer. This is a little bit of a smaller release. So these are lines that we show that will ship uh, later in the year. Um, Next year. More like January, February, March. And then we will be back in October with new lines for Quilt Market. Uh, Debbie and I worked through that today. It looks like about 10 to 15 new lines. Uh, we have some exciting things to tell you, but we got to keep them secret for now. And uh, some of the lines we're going to release at market and some of them we're going to keep in our pocket. So uh, we make people come to market to see them, especially there. Um, that's how it used to be where we used to come to quilt market to see new. But th times have changed and quilt market has changed and the quilt market this year is in early November. So good news is I get to be with my kids on Halloween. Bad news is I get to be in Houston in November. But I will be there. And uh, anything else you want to show? I don't know, you can see some nice things in the background. Yeah, I know. You I, could I guess did, what that is back there. You might win a I fabulous did the tour. gift Oh, prize. so let's do that. Let's do yeah. that. Which one? This well, stack here. This which two one? Stacks. What These, are they? Which two? Both of those. Who are they and what are they? All right, so here we go. I have a bag. It's filled with pre-cuts. It's a free spirit bag. Does anyone know who's, which, collection? which collection this is from? Anyone know? I don't know. I don't know what it is, so... Uh, let's see. If you get it, prize is yours. Who knows? Let's Don't see the name of the line. Oh. Yeah, oh, anyone know what it is? If you know what it is, you will get the goodie bag. Come on, guys. <laughs> this is easy. It is. <laughs> Nobody. Anna, no. Jitterbug, Amy Tebert, no. All right, William Morris, no. Reaver, no. Oh, you oh, showed the salvage. Oh. Oh, we're giving it away for you. Come on. Oh, come on. Now you guys got to know. <laughs> Tula be. Pink, I have it. Lotus, not... What's the name of the line? <laughs> come on, not Artisan. And zoom in well, on that. That's Artisan over there. <laughs> come on, Tula. Yes, we know it's Tula. Come on. Oh. It's not Amy Butler. Looks like Tula. All right, we know it's Tula. Who knows the name of the line? Here, did you see that she did these awesome words? A smooth sea, never made a skilled sailor. Tula Pink, Tula Pink, you guys are good. Tula Pink, what's the name of the line? It's not Philip. Come on, guys. Who wants a bag full of goodies? It's not Kaif. I told you it's Tula already. That is Kaif. Sorry. <laughs> it's not Brandon Mabley. Zuma, there Jeanette, go. oh my Got God, it. you're gonna win a tattoo. <laughs> oh my God, nice work, Jeanette. All right, so um, let's see, I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna oh. say goodbye. All right, guys, um, I guess that's kind of it for today. Congratulations, I'm gonna sit down. And uh, it's been a fun trip, heading home tonight. I'll be in the office tomorrow. Um, I have some new ideas. I want to do some videos. I know a lot of people want to see the Avalon jersey by Staff, So uh, I'm going to try to get a video of that so you could see it. And I want to introduce you to my New York people. Um, I don't want them to hate me or think that I'm neglecting them. So uh, head home tonight. Thursday, Friday in the office. Friday night is uh, a big celebration. Greg's son is turning bar mitzvah. So that's very exciting. Congratulations. And uh, sorry, I didn't see it, Vanessa Dillon. Um, so that's it. Have a great rest of the week. Hope you enjoyed this. Go back to the office. Tell your boss your stomach feels all better.
Love you guys. Bye.